as we move towards Christmas, why not uh, get some ideas now? We've got the opportunity to put a Christian book into someone's life. I want to talk about the Radical Book for Kids. Uh, it's appropriate for kids age 8 to 11, really. Uh, maybe nudging a little bit above that. Uh, it's kind of a magazine-style book of loads of different topics um, that will, in a systematic way, build kids' enthusiasm. Uh, the Bible in one sentence, how to understand the Bible, fun things like how to memorize anything, how to make uh, a sling, I think it means a slingshot by that, uh, how to pray, um, did Jesus really rise from the dead? Our uh, 10 year old loves it. I asked him what he thought about it. He said it's encouraging, he said it's detailed and it grows you in the faith. Uh, the Imagination Station, these are uh, works of fiction from Focus on the Family and it's stories of children uh, going back in time into different historical situations, meeting missionaries or facing different challenges where they have to grow in character or faith in Jesus. So often fiction is a good way of getting under our skin, isn't it, with uh, key truths. And, uh, you know, sometimes we can feel like, I just wish my kid who loves fiction would be able to read some more sort of Christian things. So the Imagination Station is a great example of that. Um, get them into it and uh, they'll love it. Uh, here's another suggestion. It's a book from uh, a few years ago now. It's not hot off the press, but it's called Equipped to Serve. And it's written by Richard Buse. Equipped to Serve would encourage someone who you perhaps think has has a gift that they're not tapping into at the moment uh, to use to serve the Lord with. Or you just want to give them in some encouragement as, as a prayer or as a Bible study uh, leader. Um, someone who's who's thinking about serving in some kind of full-time capacity. Now here's a slightly uh, left field recommendation and it's Dominion by Tom Holland, subtitle The Making of the Western Mind. Now <laughs> uh, Tom Holland is not uh, a paid up believer uh, in in Jesus. He is someone who is drawn to Christian things. He's a he's a historian and he writes from a secular point of view, but his his point is that Christianity, whether we like it or not, has shaped the Western mind. And he talks about his journey from being taken to church by his godmother who he uh, was close to through to being uh, a, a top uh, popular historian studying uh, the Greek and Roman uh, world, that that didn't sort of commend a view of the world that, that, that he wanted to, to kind of hold up. Actually, uh, he realized that Christianity has created the kind of society that, that we live in and that we all want, so many of the good things in our society. Not yet a Christian, but he's, he's drawn to, to Jesus. Uh, he, he's drawn to him, finds him uh, compelling. It shouldn't be the first book that you buy for someone to get them to think on Christian themes. Uh, but if, if, if someone's already a, a, a fairly keen reader of Christian books and you think that they might just like something a little bit different, then Tom Holland's Dominion might be a good place to take them to.